Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Freelander, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Freelander 2 2.2 SD4 SE Tech Command Shift. It's four-wheel drive, 2014 on 64 plate, has done 45,147 miles. Fuel economy, urban 32.5 miles per gallon, extra urban 48.7 miles per gallon, and combined is 40.4 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8.7 seconds, a top speed of 118 miles per hour from a four cylinder 187 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Road tax is uh, pretty good too. Six months is 176 pounds and 12 months is 320 pounds. This is a really bright car. It's lovely inside and outside. You can see the, I think it's Ferenz red metallic with black leather upholstery. And it's also got the Land Rover roof rack, which is a, a nice touch. I, I actually think it uh, finishes them off. All, all it needs now is a couple of like uh, 10 gallon jerry cans or five gallon jerry cans down the side there. And it, it'll, it'll look mint. Um, we have the aluminium side steps here colour coded door protectors there, multi-spoke alloys, high pressure headlamp wash, dark silver grille with the black surrounding and the dark silver Land Rover badge there, rear privacy glass, it's electric boot opening but you've got to lift it yourself unfortunately, rear wash wipe, There you go, plenty of room in the back, nice flat load area, the rear bumper protector there for loading cases in, it's got the heavy duty boot liner too, and the uh, roller blind rear load cover there. Rear parking sensors, it, it, it is a, it's a really bright car, nice car. Now we've got the heavy duty rubber uh, floor mats in the car too, as you can see the um, <laughs> if you're an adult sat in the back the headrests go right in the middle of your back so you've just got to move those up a little bit but when you're reversing and so on there's nobody in the back, headrests down and, and children, ideal. Now it, it looks like brand new in the back, looks like brand new in the front. Um, when I, sat, when I first got in it to come out, I sat on the front driver's seat and it, it's like a, being in a brand new car because whoever's been sat in it must, must have weighed about three stone wet through because it's not sagged or anything it, and it's just like a brand new cushion and I, and I get in it and I, and I feel like I'm higher up than I, I would normally be. I'm not used to driving new cars anymore, I, I get in them when they're second hand and somebody's been sat in them for a, a good few years and, and flattened the cushion but in this one it, it's just it, it really is a, it's a, a credit to its previous owner got kind of the ivory headlining and so on really really nice car here we've got rear centre armrest cup holders little place to put you I didn't catch that could you try again I, I didn't throw anything shut up so cup holders little cubby hole there and it, it, it is, I've got the seat forward there. Uh, I've, I've had to move it forward, otherwise I'd probably never have been able to get in. But it's a really, really nice car. Um, airbags in the A pillar, the B pillar, the C pillar there. Um, nice nice and safe environment as well. And I, I really like the Freelanders. I, I think these in the old shape Range Rover and the old shape Discovery, um, I think they were the best uh, version of the Land Rovers with the buttons and switches and you know screens stuck away where they should be and uh, and, and proper like functional vehicles so anyway okay let's go for a ride there we go the two keys it's, this one is keyless go, so so long as you've got the keys on your person, foot on the brake. And click start and that's it. We'll just 
tell you the service history, which is very, very good. 2nd the 10th, 2015 at 9,057 miles, Pentland Land Rover. 26th and 9th, 2016 at 16,918 miles, Pentland again. 11th and the 9th, 2017, 21,703 miles, Pentland. 29th and the 8th, 2018 at 26,360 miles, uh, Farmer Auto Care. 2nd the 10th, 2019, 34,223 miles, Farmer Auto Care. 9th of the 10th, 2020, 35,892 miles, Kowalski Motors, 24th and 9th, 2021 at 36,136 miles, Kowalski Motors, 29th and 9th, 2021 at 36,140 miles, Kowalski Motors, and Cam Belton Water Pump was done there, 7th of the 10th, 2022 at 42,207 Miles Kowalski Motors, 29th of the 9th, 2023, 45,096 miles Kowalski Motors. So uh, only only just been done. So here we go, all ready to go. Um, I'll just show you quickly how to pay your mobile. So uh, into settings, into Bluetooth, watch out at the bottom. Onto the phone here, you've got audio phone now. So if I click phone there, you've got, it's showing up a phone, but you've got search new. So we'll click search new, vehicle to device. We'll just watch out for it here. Thinking about it, I'll turn the fan down and the heater as well. A bit warm in here. Barry's iPhone 13 Pro there showing up, so we'll click on that. To pair and connect phone, enter 1876, 1876, pair. Allow contacts and favorites to sync, allow. Phone pair, so that's it done. Also, now you've done that, what you can do, you go to your music, let's just see, recently downloaded, we'll, we'll have Spider-Man. So we'll click on that. So that's playing now. Anything that comes, any sound that's coming off my phone, if this is set up properly, will come through the speakers. And it's Meridian speakers all around, so it's a brilliant system. So we go to audio video. That's showing a disc, what we need to do there. And sometimes that plus won't show up. So you just have to click on anything. And then the next time you click back on the screen, source and plus, onto source and plus, and then we want my phone there, and then we'll turn this up. So, great record, great sound system, and that's it. It's, it's as easy as that to set up. If you want to delete a phone while you're in this menu, in the phone menu, if you just go to change phone there, and then you can see you can delete there. My phone's connected, so it's not allowing me to delete, but if I, if I um, deleted the connection there, I could, I could knock it off completely. And it's sat nav. Click nav. Now destination entry, destination entry there. We want address or postcode. Postcode is best. And then we're Grosvenor Garage. Oops, I've pressed the wrong one. Brilliant. No, delete that. We're Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, Hay Walton, Preston, PR5. The Land Rover system is only two digits, but the Land Rover system will pick two digits up. Some you have to put a space in. PR54 E A. That's it. Click OK. And then go. Guidance will start when you join the highlighted route. So so that's it. It's a really si simple system in, in the Land Rovers and Range Rovers. And the the other great thing about this is if you but if you get near to your house and you don't want to speak in any um, directions anymore you click on home menu and then there cancel guidance and that's it done but here we go so that's sat nav that's everything covered you've got height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel Be because as i say the, this uh, the seat the bolster and everything is 
really, really high up. It's like brand new seeds. And so I can only think that the uh, person who um, drove this before was very, very light. Here we go. Let's get going. If we can get comfortable. But these really are a fantastic car. If you if you want something that will do anything and go anywhere, but you don't want it too big like a, a Range Rover or a Discovery, then this is absolutely brilliant. I love these, so underrated. And I, I kind of didn't realize how good they were till they, they stopped making them. I had a few of the earlier Freelanders when they first came out and they were just so good. There you go. Teaching your kid how to get knocked over from an early age by crossing on a, a red. I don't know. So, power folding door mirrors. It's got everything I want. So I, I, the older I get, the more I miss wind up windows. <laughs> um, air, con air conditioning. It's got great, great things like heated front screen. Brilliant accessory. Absolutely should be standard on absolutely everything. Got heated seats, the heated seats are great. You've also got you obviously your gear selector here it's in drive at the moment but you never need to take it out of drive because it's Land Rover gearboxes are fantastic but if you did I don't know I don't know towing a trailer going downhill or something like that and you wanted to hold it in gear just knock the gear selector across there and you can change down like so it's in sport as well and, uh, and up drive is fantastic we just put the set nav on as well so you can see where we're going <laughs> really black BMW who would have expected that said nobody ever I really like the way these drive, they're not too bouncy, you can feel the terrain a little bit. But, you know, you get in some cars and EMWs, and you can feel every little bump in the road. And this, you just. So let's just get the door mirrors so we can see the, both the door handles. There you go. Absolutely perfect. I may have to put my shades on. Why do you always wear sunglasses, Baz? Are you an idiot? Obviously. Oh dear. Good turn of acceleration, good turn of speed. 
This one's got a kind of a cup holder stroke, cigarette holder. I'm sure that will come out. Yeah, it does. So you've got a cup holder there. Slide the louver back. You've got another cup holder there. Taking the wife out on a nice run to the tip. Really great value for money. Price very, very well, too. So, that, there's your heated front screen, there's your heated seats, got your ter terrain response here. Great finish, cruise control, cruise control on. If you want to increase the speed, click like so. If you want to decrease it, click like so. Bottom one there, you've got cancel, resume. If you want to cancel completely or if you've no time to click cancel, you just touch the brake and that's it cancelled. We're doing, actually we're probably doing about 71 there, so I'll just knock that down. So just under 70, we're 69 now. I'm doing about 1750, 1800 revs. Hardly working. Indicators on the left, wipers on the right. In the end of the indicator stalk there, you've got your information display in the center. Click the end in, that's the trip, instantaneous fuel, distance to empty, nothing, date and mileage, and then uh, auto trip, average speed, average fuel. Over here, if you click OK there, then you're into vehicle setup. Click OK again. Two stage unlocking, audible lock warning, winter wiper park. Parks it up the screen there so it's not covered in snow or iced in. Drive away locking, headlamp delay. Go back, trip computer display settings language all that from this this button here we don't need any of that the normal display normal information display there top left time top right outside temperature bottom left it's showing you the gear you're in bottom right the speed you're doing and then in the center left your coolant temperature center right your fuel gauge and on the right hand side you've got your rev counter left hand side speedo all nice all nicely set out we've got here front central armrest and you can just you can wind it up till you get comfortable like so put that down just nice car Mind you, <clears throat> you see that, that does my OCD in. I have to have them uh, both at the same level, but in order to do that, also need to get the back 
straight as well. Get in there, there we go. We'll do it that. Global lock in there, or global lock in there, global unlock, hill descent. Just really, really good cars. And there's so many about, so many old ones on the road. For sale, £950. cheek of some people. I mean quite often there there is a, um, a butty van so somebody's decided that they can sell their caravan in a lay-by I don't know from the look of it it didn't even look like there was a a towing cover on or a towing hitch cover so I would imagine anybody can just reverse up to it put it on the back of the car and drive off free caravan Royal Oak there really good food it's like pub food but at the next level the pies are fantastic I wonder if they're open. <laughs> you know, this is an ideal car. You're up off the road. Nice, easy and relaxed way of driving. Reasonably economical. Great drive. and safe too. seats split and fold independently of each other a nice big load area high pressure headlamp wash on the front the nice aluminium the the, the side steps that I like as well, the kind of contoured and they, they look like they're part of a car rather than just two angle lines bolted on. Here you've got your voice activation, you've got your answer a phone call and dink a phone call. There you go, that's the home menu. So the, the sound system is second to none. It's a bit, a bit of Post Malone again. Well, brilliant car. It's, it's a joy to drive. Suspension's great. Not too soft, not too hard, just right. And uh, very, very clean example.
So I'll uh, finish the test drive there. Not much else to say. I can't find any fault in it whatsoever. Everything's perfect. And uh, I can thoroughly recommend it. So thanks for watching. Got a lot to do this week. More Freelanders, Audi A1, Volvo, and uh, hopefully the weather holds out this week because I'm way behind. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.